Welcome Hemsville Chiropractic practice members. This is the first part of our series of spinal corrective exercises. What we're going to demonstrate today is some very basic ground principles of low back and pelvis strengthening so that you can start your workouts away from the office and strengthen that low back. So Matt here is going to be demonstrating some very simple basics of the pelvis and the low back and some exercises to strengthen that low back at home. We're going to be demonstrating today on a bench, but at home you can certainly use a chair and I would recommend using a chair that has arms in it so that you can catch yourself if you get a little bit wobbly. And this is a way for you to actually strengthen as you go along. So what we're going to demonstrate here is Matt's going to demonstrate in just a moment the position I want you to get into with the pelvis and we're going to actually sit down into the chair and we're going to work our way back up and we're going to be working on strengthening that pelvis in and out of a sitting position and working on that extension and that pelvis moving and holding and strengthening those spinal adjustments. So what Matt has going on here first is you can see his feet are shoulder width apart, they're slightly pointed out. And what he's gonna do is he's gonna demonstrate going back down onto the bench. And what he's going to do is he's gonna sit back down. Imagine this happening in a chair as well where you could actually catch yourself again and you have a back on the chair. So he's gonna go ahead and go down and you're gonna see him sit there. And when he comes back up, what you're gonna see him do is he's gonna be pushing off his heel. We wanna work off of the heels and engage that pelvis when we come back up. So he's gonna go ahead and stand back up, pushing off of the heels. And what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna be wobbly whenever we do this. So you don't wanna fall down haphazardly. A lot of times with our patients, we'll see that when they're doing their, their chair exercises, they fall back down in a motion that's not controlled. And what we really want you to do is when you make that first motion down into the chair, we want you to take that butt and we actually want you to stick it down like you're coming down into the chair. So Matt's gonna demonstrate that again a little slower as he's coming down. You can see his butt's going down into the bench and then he's pushing back up off his heel and he's coming back up. So what we wanna do is work our way up to a goal of 30 repetitions on that. Nice and slow, work your way up to 30. That doesn't mean you're gonna have 30 in you from the get-go. So we wanna make sure this is something we can do to strengthen and work our way into the basic squat. One thing we don't wanna do, as I said, is get sloppy with this. So well, again, a lot of our patients get sloppy in their motion. Matt's gonna demonstrate kind of a haphazard sit down where you just kind of fall back down into the chair. We don't want that. We wanna make sure it's nice and controlled. So come on back up. And again, we're gonna demonstrate how it's more controlled this manner. He's gonna go down again and that's uncontrolled. So let's demonstrate one more time the right procedure from the top to bottom, the right technique. So again, controlled, but down towards the bench. He's gonna come back up, pushing up off the heels. Perfect.